A national political battle is being fought out in California, but the voters there don't seem to know or care much about it. National Republican money is coming into California to pay for gathering petition signatures to qualify a ballot measure that would divide California's electoral votes. If this passed, rather than 55 electoral votes going to the Democratic candidate, you would probably have about 35 going to the Democrat and 20 going to the uh, Republican candidate. So that could have a major impact on how we elect the president in 2008. You bet it would. 20 electoral votes is as many as the whole state of Ohio. If the measure qualifies for the ballot, the deadline is next week, Republicans will argue that it's fairer. Why should the 44% of Californians who voted for George W. Bush in 2004 not get a single electoral vote for their effort? It would also bring the presidential campaign to California. Right now, the state feels like an ATM machine. Candidates raise money in California and spend it somewhere else. Democrats will argue it's unfair to split up California's electoral votes unless other big states do the same thing. The Democrats will say it's a power grab. That's one thing Democrats have going for them, voter skepticism. It's very hard to see that there's any major, major issue here that the voters care about. Uh, generally, they have refused to involve themselves when the fight is between the two uh, uh, parties. They say, gee, that's, that's, not my, that's not my fight. When California voters don't understand or care much about a ballot measure, they usually vote no. They figure somebody's up to something. A lot of the money behind the California ballot measure is coming from Republicans with ties to Rudy Giuliani. And a lot of the effort to resist it is coming from the Hillary Clinton forces. It's turning into an early showdown between the two front runners, And the voters of California don't even know it. Bill Schneider, CNN, Washington.